with your goals, I'm bringing my gang. All of that talking just sound like a show, I'm just letting you know that I'm not in the You hear the crowd, they screaming my name. I got the stadium going the same. Done with the talking, it ain't no discussion. You started, I finished, put me in the game. Put me in the game. Yeah. Put me in the game. All of that talking just sound like a show, I'm just letting you know that I'm not in the tank. Hey, coach. Put me in the game. They put me in, so I'm going in. You play for fun, I'm playing to win. Back on the wall, I'm ready for war. If I beat them before, I could beat them again. They thought I was done, I went on a run. the former Cornhusker Brett Barr to get this one started. And we are underway from AT&T Stadium. Taken at the 15, a short kick. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Green Bay's offense trots out. And just as it has been since week one of the 2008 season, Aaron Rodgers leads the way now in his 18th year in the National Football League. Rodgers going to the air to start things out. And incomplete to open things up. Here's second and 10 now from the 29. On the delay, Jones. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. Five yards, now it's third and five. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Now Rodgers. Pass caught. It's Romeo Dobbs. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Rodgers now on first down. A 50-50 ball here, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Anthony Brown. Not something you see very often from a quarterback of his caliber, an opening drive interception. Oh, there's no doubt in my mind that even he's surprised at how that one played out. But we know this guy is not going to stop him from continuing to fire as this game goes along. Probably give a little nod of respect across the field for that one and let him know he'll be back the very next series. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and ten. Here's Rush to throw. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating a defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage, able to knock that one away. Throwing again on second and ten. Rush. He'll fire deep downfield from Lamb. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. A big pickup of 38. One of the good things about throwing it in his direction, he usually has the size advantage on those two-man catches. And what I like about his game is that he carries himself at his full height. He understands it's an advantage and uses it at every opportunity. And he'll go right back to Lamb. And they're going to get this down to about the 17-yard line here. Really been an ideal start for them. They get the turnover on the opening possession. Now here they are moving the ball straight down the field on their first drive. And that feels good, but you know on their side of the field, all they're thinking is finish this drive off because they took it away, right? So now you've got them back on their heels a little bit. Now go down, put a touchdown on them. Look out. You've won the mental battle early in the game, and that may carry over for you. Looking to throw again on second down. Rush to the goal line, but it's incomplete. It's been a good opening drive offensively thus far, but you know they don't want to waste it and settle for a field goal attempt after that incompletion. So this is a big play coming up here on third down. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. Touchdown! A 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Cowboys take the early turnover and convert it into an opening touchdown. On that third down call, the goal was to get the ball to their tight end and pick up a first down, but he wasn't satisfied with just that. They got the first down. That was the gravy. He decided to take in the whole meal and rumbled in for a touchdown.
Brett Maher on for the extra point. And this is up and good to make it 7 nothing Cowboys. So the drive there took six plays, and it was capped off by a 12-yard touchdown run. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. Taken at the 15, a short kick. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Now look out, Rodgers lost the football. It's picked up by the Cowboys. And this is going to be brought back for a fumble return touchdown by the Cowboys. And Charles, look at the big fella. What a rumble that was. Not only to scoop it, but then take it the rest of the way for the touchdown. And now you know they're going to have to hear about it from now on. The defensive backs, he's going to want to run with them, do their drills, the whole deal. He thinks he's the pace setter now. It doesn't matter what happens in practice this week. He's smiling. Mar on for the extra point. And it's good, and they have jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. So not only the cough-up, but then the pickup on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. Taken at the 15, a short kick. And they've got it up past the 35, so pretty good starting field position. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. And job one here, Charles, just keep possession of the football. Two drives, two turnovers to this point. You're exactly right, Doctor. Hippocratic oath, first do no harm. And right now they're harming themselves on offense. I like that. No one is mistaking me for a doctor, though. But thank you, Dr. Davis. Rodgers will bring the pack up with a first and 10 at their 36-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. He's got Tunyon complete over the middle. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Rodgers with a give. It's Aaron Jones. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Four yards the pick up. First down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook. Go play action. Toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. On a determined run there as he's going to take this all the way down near the 40. 11 yards and a Green Bay Packer first down. I have to admit, I'm excited by that play call and the end result because this is a team that's down big early in the first quarter, and a lot of teams will just panic, abandon the playbook, and just start firing the ball all over the place. It's way too early for that. Stick to what works for you. Down double digits, and we talked about their game plan being both running and passing there. You're right. They're sticking to the game plan, get the ground game going. A lot of football left to be played. Demarcus Lawrence in on the tackle. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. Really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. It's a loss of a yard, so it's back to third and ten. Now, right where this set of downs started, they need a full ten here to pick up the first down and move the chains. This one swung out here to Jones. And he can only manage to take this thing to the 38, well shy of the first down. Three yards, all they could muster there, and it'll bring up fourth down.
14 nothing the score this is the NFL on EA Sports On now is Mason Crosby, who's hit from as far as 58 in his career. This officially a 55-yard attempt. And he has got it from 55 yards away. That was never in doubt. And they will get themselves on the board here at 14-3. So that kick gives them their first points of the game, CD. And it comes on the third drive, but hopefully for them that's a spark that gets that offense going. Yeah, and I would say if you're the offensive play caller, as you look at your sheet, you're trying to find that part on there that unlocks bigger points. They struggled with a few drives so far. Finally got three out of it. How do you find the end zone? That's what he's searching for now. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. For this offense, Charles, remember the last time they were out here, marched it nearly the full length of the football field, and a lot of the attack went through the air, so now they're seeing if they can duplicate that performance. Okay, if I show my age a little bit, partner, because I can hear my high school coach, John Ford. I can hear his voice in my head. Hey, when you put the ball in the air, three things can happen, and two of them are bad. But the way the game's being played now, this is just part of what they do, so I don't think they should change anything at all. They've been dominant. Keep throwing it around. Rush's throw pulled in by Lamb. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. Getting it to him in space pays off big time. That winds up going for 31. How about the first half he's putting together? Well over 100 yards already with that last catch. And to me, they'd be well served to keep looking his way. A number of big plays already in this one. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Rush. Steps away to his left. He'll fire deep downfield for Lamb. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. C.D. Lamb, 39 yards. As his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. Boy, that route is really tough to cover because if they're running it correctly, you think it's really going to be a slant. Yeah, well, we talk all the time about how it's tough to execute offensively, but you're saying, don't forget, it's tough to cover for the defense, too. Yeah, the number one thing that you're taught is to not get caught inside or get beat inside. So you guard that a little bit more. So that gives you a little bit more space to operate outside if you start to move initially inside if you're a receiver. A flip to the kicker. He's going to try to run for it. Well, I have to admit, I'm scratching my head a little bit here trying to make sense of what I just saw. Number one, huge lead. Just kick the extra point and be done with it. Number two, if you are going to go for two, just line up and go for it from the two-yard line. Why make it so difficult? That's a long way to go to try and pick up some points. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. A short kick taken at the 18. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past the 30. The Green Bay offense ready to take over. It's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio. Well, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And his crew will take over the football at the 35-yard line. When a team's turned it over three times in the first half, we just look at the offense and say, guys, what are you doing? But instead, we really should be looking at the defense. They've created the takeaways. Two interceptions, one cause fumble. They played awfully well, swarming to the ball. Here and this is caught for a Cowboy touchdown. C.D. Lamb with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Cowboys continue to pull away here in this first half. What a first half he is compiling here. He's already over 100 yards receiving and now two touchdowns, C.D. Brandon, you know I don't like to play the game where you start projecting when you're at a certain point. 
But let's face it, he's off to a tremendous start. So 200 yards, four touchdowns. I don't think anything's out of the question right now. He's blowing up coverages. You've got to double him every snap. Otherwise, he's going to defeat you on almost every play. And it's incomplete, but a flag is down here, so hang on. Let's see what we've got. So a P.I. call going to cost him there defensively. What did you see? Well, I think it's the right call, partner, because sometimes we'll see officials kind of let them play. But by the letter of the law, that's definitely a penalty. Extra point by Barr, up and good. And a route is on here in this first half. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. Fields this way up at the 17. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Here's Rodgers. His throw incomplete. Certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. Like what I see so far out of this defense because they've been showing their best coverages on third down. So far, only allowed one conversion on a handful of attempts. One area of their game plan that they've executed to perfection. Taking it about the 16. It'll be a 44-yard punt, six on the return. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. Out comes CeeDee Lamb and the rest of the Dallas offense. He might be on his way to a record-setting performance. So good here, we're only in the second quarter. And it's so interesting when we watch these types of days unfold for a receiver because they need a quarterback to win it accurately, people to block for the quarterback, so many other variables. But boy, he's getting it done and in a big way. Right now, he wants to rock on every snap. Yeah, he's counting his yards in the hundreds, not the tens. And this one too low. C.D. Lamb is intended target. That'll bring up second down. Throwing here, Rush. They're looking for Lamb, but it's intercepted. Masul Douglas picks it, and he's able to get it back to the 41-yard line. So really the first speed bump that this offense has encountered, they'd had the rule of the roost here in this first half, but now slowed up just a bit by the interception. And there's a chance that that's a wake-up call for them because you don't want to go on autopilot too early. That team on defense is capable of making some plays similar to the one they made right there. Rodgers throw complete here on target to Tunyon. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. A good spot to throw, and indeed, they'll come out with four wide receivers here on second and inches. Up the middle, Jones. And this time, not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. Only a gain of a yard, but that's all they needed. Exactly what they needed right there, because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off, because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Slant route, he's got Dobbs. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. 
So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Rodgers now to throw. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Now Rodgers. His throw caught at about the five. And the Packers are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. Rodgers going to throw. And he's got it. It's caught for a Packers touchdown. Romeo Dobbs, a five-yard touchdown. And the Packers get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. Crosby connects on the extra point, and that'll cut this to a 17-point spread. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Cowboy offense going to head out now late in this first half. And with a little under a minute to go, still time to try to put a drive together to add to their lead, should they so choose. He'll fire this deep for Gallup. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. Second and 10 now from the 27. Now Rush. Going to take a shot for Gallup. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. Open man lamb. It's complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. The 21 yards there as they convert on third. To throw is Rush. Another one to C.D. Lamb. He's got it. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we send you on over to Orlando, for, we now proceed to the start of the second half. The Cowboys will get the football first here, and they have the lead as well as we are underway in quarter three. Fielded just outside the goal line. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Out come the Cowboys now as they'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. As this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles, remember that first half, good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. They reached the end zone several times. The passing game working awfully well. And most importantly, partner. And yeah, they went to the tunnel with a lead. They come back out with that lead. Absolutely. NFL coaches, we know they're perfectionists in a lot of ways, but they had to like what they saw in that first half. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. They had the incomplete pass on second down. Now they need a big play here, third and ten. Back to throw rush. And that ball incomplete, nearly intercepted. Took a chance with that one. It'll lead to a fourth down. And look at this, it's a fake. And this is incomplete. A huge gamble, and it does not pay off. They fake the punt. It doesn't work out. And the Packers are going to get the football back in excellent field position. On first down, Rodgers. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Just what they need, a lecture from me, but subpar offense is what helped get them into this spot. And now they're continuing the trend with incompletions. That won't get them out of it if they don't change something soon. Rodgers again here on second and 10. And Rodgers intercepted a third time. Picked off by Micah Parsons. And the Cowboys are going to take over at their own 41. 
About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They'll start in excellent field position following the INT. Now a throw right side taken in here to start this drive. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches, as we just saw him do there, because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days. But you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target. And that's how he'll shred a defense. Again, he'll drop to throw. And that is incomplete. Boy, he did everything but hold on to it. But a nice play defensively, and now it brings up fourth down. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. And able to catch it, but he's out of bounds. And the throw took it beyond the sideline, and that's going to be a turnover on downs. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Anthony Barr. And it's a huge return as he brings this all the way back down to the 15-yard line. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. Throwing to start the drive. Rush. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. A great play there. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Cowboys are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Boy, he has been fun to watch throwing the football in this one. It's certainly not fun for that defense, though, Charles. Now up to four touchdown passes in this ball game. Yeah, we're supposed to be neutral, but I'm feeling their pain right now because he has absolutely carved up the secondary. A clinic on how to attack a defense. And, and now before we get to the extra point, remember all touchdowns do have to be confirmed by the replay official. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in balance, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. Extra point by Moore, up and good. And the lead is now 24. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. Pulls it in at the 13. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Green Bay's offense ready to go again. It's a game that they would rather probably forget about, at least to this point, Charles. And one reason is turnovers. The turnover on the last drive, they had the issue in the first half as well. And that's really, unfortunately for them, helped to put this game out of reach. And you know they won't admit it to themselves. But we know that winning the game is pretty much out of the picture now. So their bottom line is how do they play a clean game the rest of this one, right? Take care of the football, no more turnovers, and see how that works. And his throw is incomplete. Another attempt, another incompletion. And when I look at the scoreboard and where we are in this game, it comes to mind that they have to start getting the ball in the hands of their playmakers. Throw it to the guys that maybe can take a short pass and turn it into a long game or make people miss downfield. They've got to have points. And the guys who can put the ball in the end zone, they're the ones that need to touch the ball. It'll be a gain of 12, but it will also lead to fourth down. Here's Pat O'Donnell now as he'll kick it away for the second time. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. Fielded at about the 28. 
A good return there, 17 yards. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And as the offense begins another drive here, uh, pretty simple, Charles. They want to carbon copy what happened the last time out when they ended their drive in the end zone. You're right about that, partner. Sounds pretty simple, doesn't it? Just score again, but we know it's not that simple because we don't just make adjustments at halftime if you're a good football team. You spend that time on the sideline. Study what's on the notes and the tablets, and you make those adjustments, prevent a repeat of the last drive. Series to series, the best teams, that's how they get it done. And we'll find out here soon enough whether those adjustments are enough defensively. Throwing again on second down. Rush. And his throw here is incomplete. Oh, man, for him to be that wide open and drop it. Sometimes you have just too much time on your hands, right? You end up thinking way too much, and your hands get shaky. And yes, he's a tight end, but that's a catch he should have made. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. And now on fourth and one, it's a fake. And this is incomplete. A huge gamble, and it does not pay off. They fake the punt, it doesn't work out, and the Packers' D comes up with a big stop. The Packers ready to take over offensively. Well, this has been a tough one for them, Charles. They've struggled really on both sides of the football, and one thing that's really plagued them, the turnovers. They've had issues keeping the football in their possession. And every game that's ever been played, <laughs> all coaches talk about taking care of the football and limiting turnovers, and in this one, after we saw that first turnover, we worried that things would snowball, and it certainly did, especially on the scoreboard. Rodgers, and able to find Alan Lazard. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and 10. To throw is Rodgers. And now here is another interception. Picked up by Leighton Van Der Esch. And the Cowboys are going to get it back here just past the 35. I think you and I were a little surprised back earlier in the game when he threw his second interception. I mean, who would have thought a quarterback of his caliber picked now five times? It's beyond stunning to me because we're used to that with maybe a quarterback with less experience or less talent. But a quarterback of his caliber? I can't believe what we've just seen. Absolutely. If you would have told me this coming into the ball game, I would have said never, not in a million years. But here we go. Out of his hands quickly to C.D. Lamb. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Throwing on first down. Rush. He'll find Lamb. That's complete. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. Three quarters have come and gone. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Back to throw again. And this one quickly to Lamb. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. Well, normally you might say start running the football. You've got the lead here in the fourth quarter, but the way that they've passed it with such success, I don't know, maybe keep throwing it. Yeah, I think you brought up something that goes against conventional wisdom, right? At this stage of the game, you would think you would switch to a running attack, but you're exactly right. They've thrown it so well throughout the game, and trusting this quarterback, I think he continued to do so. On second and ten, rush. That's Gallup on the slant. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. 19 yards on the pickup there, and now they'll have it first and goal. There's absolutely been no stopping this offense today. They already have the big lead, obviously. Here in the fourth quarter, they could coast to the end, but right now they're not passing up any chances to put up some garbage time yardage. And, partner, why would they? Because... Who knows the next time you'll be playing as well as you have today. When you're in that zone, you go ahead and take full advantage of it. You don't worry about your opponent. You just worry about what you're doing. Incomplete. 
Well, fourth quarter with a three-score lead here, Charles, but they're still going back to the air and looking for more points. Well, with this game well in hand, it's an opportunity for the guys to come off the bench and get a chance to play. And a lot of coaches, they want to run their full playbook no matter who's on the field. And he forced this throw nearly intercepted in the end zone, but it's incomplete. Fortunately, no turnover, but it is fourth down. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. They pass up the three, fake it. It doesn't work. And the Packer defense stands tall down by the goal line. The Green Bay offense ready to take over. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And, Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally... I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. Escaping the pressure right. Rodgers sliding to a stop with a first down. What can't Aaron Rodgers do? The legwork there getting him the first. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Now a pass dumped off to his running back. And they'll blow that one up back at the 16-yard line. He was unable to shake free there. and They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. To throw again on second down. Rodgers flushed out right. That's complete to come. And he'll be out of bounds at the 25-yard line. He was out there waving his arms, and when you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help, I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is, because you've got to get his attention, because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. And he is going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Packer football here as we welcome you back. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. And again, it's Rodgers. And my goodness, another interception. Picked off by Anthony Barr. And they are going to set up shop at the 32-yard line. For this defense, CD, that's kind of the icing on the cake here as we get to the end of this one. And didn't you feel that they weren't just going into total prevent there? You know, they had the lead, and sometimes you fall back and you lose your aggressiveness. Not in this case. They were still making a play on the football, and look how that one turned out. They may have salted this one. And now it appears that the referee's been buzzed, and we'll get a review. And this being inside two minutes of play, everything coming from up above. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. folks in New York just going to wind up confirming what the official saw as this play will stand as is. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. That one looks like he'll throw here. He finds his man complete. It's Ferguson. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. Well, I have to tell you, just one word keeps coming to mind from watching them this afternoon. And that's impressive. They have been impressive from the opening kickoff. And they haven't let up here even into the fourth quarter. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Well, their passing attack, even though that one was incomplete, has been really sharp in this one. It's resulted in a lot of touchdowns, and it looks like they're not going to stop throwing the football until the very end of this one. Well, that will certainly make everyone involved on offense pretty happy because
because that gives them all a chance to pad their stats a bit. But as far as the actual need, you and I both know they can just run this clock out because this one, it was over a long time ago. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Adrian Amos with a pick. And the Packers are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. So after the INT, it's Rodgers. That's complete to Lazard. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. On second and very short, Rodgers. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as they get it with 26 seconds to go in the football game. Rodgers now on first down. The throw complete to the tight end, Tunyon. Now another timeout called for by the offense. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. On first and ten, here's Rodgers. Dancing to his left. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. Throwing now is Rodgers. And now here is another interception. Picked off by Anthony Brown. And the Cowboys are going to take possession as they've got it at the 42-yard line. So many times we end a game, and as we're recapping it, we're talking about what offenses did and how they won the game. Let's flip this one over. The defense, they frustrated the offense the entire ball game. That's why they're walking out of here with a victory. And they're going to love to walk out of here with that as their final act, that interception. Good way for them to end it. They are certainly not letting up on the pressure in this one. And oftentimes you hear this expression, all gas, no break from defenses. But in this case, it's the offense still throwing the football up big in the fourth quarter. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. So this one will end in a victory for the Dallas Cowboys. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Bra